welcome. Tonight, we look at the growing concern over acid house parties, which attract thousands of young people in the region. Police and politicians say they want them banned in the interests of public safety. We report from the seaside. Look at the growing fears over the new craze of acid house parties, which are attracting thousands of young people in the northwest. In Lancashire at the weekend, police in riot gear arrested 22 people after trouble fled in Blackburn. And earlier on Saturday, police had arrested organisers of another party 10 miles away in Chorley. People who go to the parties are calling for them to be legalised, but the authorities are worried about safety because of the large numbers involved. They're also concerned about drugs and noise levels at the warehouse venues. Tim Wyatt's been looking at how the police are responding to the latest trend. Acid house parties in the northwest, like this one in Manchester, have come to mean a cat and mouse game between police and party goers. The usual scenario is that organizers keep the venue secret until the last possible moment. That venue is usually a disused factory, mill or warehouse. Safety precautions are normally non-existent. Many people believe these parties are just disasters waiting to happen. East Lancashire in general and Blackburn in particular have become the centre of the cyclone for acid house parties in the northwest. During the early hours of Saturday and Sunday mornings, town centres can become besieged with convoys of up to 2,000 cars and 10,000 partygoers. The traffic jams can be worse than during the rush hour. The police view is that these are purely criminal events. Their aim now is to stop them from happening before they even begin, and to that end they're drafting in hundreds of extra officers every weekend. These are the astonishing scenes in Blackburn early yesterday morning. More than a thousand cars, heaving crowds, honking horns and scenes of mayhem, in which missiles were thrown and cars and shop windows damaged. The police response, surrounding possible party locations, putting officers in riot gear and setting up roadblocks. In the end, no party went ahead. Lancashire police say they've gathered wide-ranging intelligence on the acid house scene. They promise that within a month, these parties will be history. We get information from people who are involved on the fringes of parties. We get information from owners of buildings. But uh, we had been successful last weekend and we've been successful this weekend in preempting parties. We do know, for example, that this weekend attempts were made to break into and secure at least two venues. Uh, which our operations managed to thwart. Politicians too want Acid House annihilated. These people are crooks and they are destroying the lives of hundreds, not to say thousands, of decent law-abiding citizens. And these people who talk about the civil liberties of others ought to come down and see some of the elderly people that I have seen whose lives have been ruined uh, by Acid House parties. The government, meanwhile, is backing a private member's bill, which could mean Acid House party organisers facing £20,000 fines or six months in jail. Tim Wyatt reporting. Greater Manchester Police have been asked...